Hi, my name is Matt. I'm a support engineer at Agile Technologies. And today we're going to talk about how to change the line voltage on our 200 watt power supply. So that's this is for model 6641A, 42A, 43A, 44A, and 45A. And it's the same procedure for all the units. The first thing you want to make sure of is that your unit's unplugged and turned off so that there's no electricity going through it because you're going to have to go inside the box and we want to be safe about that. So the first thing you need to do is take the cover off. So there's two screws in each side. One side has a handle, the other side just has two screws. And we've already taken the screws out of this one. So once the screws are out, you just kind of slide the cover back to get at the guts of the unit. So there you have the inside. So here's a closer look at the area we're interested in. So you can see right here, there's a kind of legend telling you switch settings for the different line voltages. So there's two switches. So left left is 120, which is what we're set for now. So we're going to just for uh, purpose of demonstration switch to 100 volts, which is the first switch is left and the second one's right. So, we're going to go to these two switches located on the side of the unit here, which you can see they're both to the left, and we're going to switch this one over to the right, like so. Using a screwdriver helps, since you, can, you can't really get your finger in there. So now, that would be the switch setting for 100 volts, and if we want to go back to 120, we just got to flip this back to the left. So, that little guide's also in the manual but we put it right on the uh, PCB inside the unit since that's what you're going to be looking when you're actually doing it. The last thing we have to do is change the line fuse. So there's a little canister that the line fuse goes in and we're going to just unscrew it a little bit and then pull it out. And there you have the line fuse. So for the fuses there's actually in the manual in uh, the section about changing the line voltage gives you a listing of all the different part numbers for the fuses and the ratings for the fuses so you can make sure you have the right fuse. If you don't have the right fuse you might blow it and the power supply won't work until you put the right fuse in it so you always want to make sure that you have the right fuse in there. So that's about it. That's how you change the line voltage on a 664A power supply. If you have any questions, please contact us at the forum link listed on the title card. Thanks.